Welcome to Module 4 of TigerGraph's course on TigerGraph Fundamentals. Module 3 looked at the evolution of graph databases, from the first commercial products to the present. In Module 4, we'll, we'll look at seven key data science capabilities of native parallel graph databases. This module has three key objectives. The first is to describe what are each of the seven data science capabilities powered by a native parallel database. Second is to learn how these capabilities act as a building block to deliver deeper business insights from the relationships among data. And the third is to review use cases in several industries. This chart presents a logical organization for the seven key data science capabilities powered by a native parallel graph. We start on the upper left side with a basic capability, deep link analysis. The ability to efficiently and programmatically traverse a graph for three or more hops and then analyze the data encountered in that traversal. TigerGraph easily traverses 10 or more hops. The more hops you traverse, the more insight you enable, but it is also harder because the number of connections can grow exponentially. Deep link analysis powers next generation fraud detection, anti-money laundering, as well as recommendation engine solutions. Next is multi-dimensional entity and pattern matching. Giving a meaningful pattern of relationships search the graph for all the occurrences of this pattern. A native parallel graph, like TigerGraph, can find such patterns quickly, often in real time. This is useful in finding customers who are likely to churn or are ready to buy the next product or service, members of patients who are suitable for a specific type of drug or procedure, and citizens or residents who may be involved in fraud, money laundering, or terrorist activities. Third is relational commonality discovery and computation. Given two entities, TigerGraph traverses their relationships to find commonality and thus similarity between the two. This is useful for finding common members or patients for a set of doctors, or finding common customers for a set of merchants, and for finding common business or personal connections among the group. Fourth is hub and community detection. Find the most influential members of a group and detect the community around them with TigerGraph. This is useful for finding doctors who can promote and deliver a new drug with higher efficacy to the population that needs it most. Merchants who are driving increasing share of wallets for a specific population and citizens who appear to be influencing a group of people involved in suspicious activities. At the base of this figure are three capabilities which cut across horizontally. Two of them refer to particular types of data and the third addresses machine learning. Geospatial graph analysis analyzes changes in entities and their relationships with each other, as with location data. This is useful in understanding the movement of people and goods through a geographic area to identify and address potential bottlenecks in transportation capacity, such as commercial truck fleet or taxi availability for consumers during busy hours at population destinations, such as malls and sports stadiums. When combined with Entity 360 and pattern matching, it powers personalized real-time campaigns or offers tailored to individual customers' preferences and interests. Temporal time series graph analysis enables changes in entities and relationships over time. Temporal analysis is used to find suspected shell corporations that may be used for money laundering, bribery, or corruption, uncover referral relationships among prescribers or doctors, and understand changes in influencer behavior over time to identify compelling trends in commerce and equities markets. Machine Learning Feature Generation and Explainable AI TigerGraph extracts graph-based features to feed as training data for machine learning models, improving the accuracy for fraud detection, money laundering, recommendation engines, risk assessment, network and IT resource optimization, and more. TigerGraph also powers explainable AI by allowing the users to query and understand the result from the AI solution with graph-based features. Deep link analytics is the ability to traverse and analyze connecting paths that are at least three hops deep in large graphs. The deeper you traverse, the more information you uncover. Let's consider an example from financial services to understand how deep link analytics is used for fraud detection. A user creates a payment account and provides their email and their phone number as part of the registration, which is used to authenticate the user. The user also links sources of funds, such as a bank account, a debit card, 
or a credit card as part of the pay setup. The user then initiates each payment using a device such as a desktop, laptop, tablet, or mobile phone, and the payment is received by another user in their account. This is a typical schema for money transfer or payment servers such as Intuit QuickBooks payments used by small and medium-sized businesses or peer-to-peer -peer services such as Venmo or PayPal. So how can fraud take place in this sort of payment network and how can deep link analysis detect it? A user, user1, has created and linked their account1, which is linked to their credit card American Express 95. As a part of the setup and multi-factor authentication, they have linked their phone number, phone number 1, and their email to their account. User 1 is using an Apple iPhone 6 as their device with a registered phone number and initiates a payment, payment 1, for $500 to account 2. Up to this point, there aren't any red flags or warnings in a traditional financial services fraud detection solution because User 1 is a brand new user with a brand new phone number and email that haven't been associated with any fraudulent transactions in the past. The deep link analysis, however, reveals a different picture. The recipient account for the payment account 2 belongs to user 2, who has authenticated the account with phone number 2 as part of the setup process. The phone number, phone number 2 is used with device 101, a Samsung Galaxy S3 device. As the analysis digs through the history of prior fraudulent transactions and looks for devices associated with those transactions, it finds that device 101 was used last year with phone number 101 to set up account 101. Account 101 initiated a payment 101, which was later found to be fraudulent, as the account 101 was found to be a stolen credit card. Deep link analysis looks beyond just the current accounts. It looks at linked devices and historical patterns. In this case, it looks up the payment initiated by brand new user, user 1, using account 101 and tracks it all the way through to the prior fraudulent transactions involving the common device, device 101. This is a six hop query and a native parallel graph such as Tiger Graph can connect this in real time for hundreds of thousands of payment transactions per second. Now let's look at pattern matching. A pattern is a set of interconnected entity and relationship types, usually with some meaning. A pattern might occur many times within a graph and can be linear, meaning a chain of vertices, or can be nonlinear, as in a tree or a circle, or etc. The pattern can also contain multiple types of entities and relationships, so it is multidimensional. Pattern matching is a process of finding subgraphs in a data graph that conform to a given query pattern. For example, the left side of the chart represents a relationship between people, companies, and products, while the right side shows a specific pattern, P where one person knows another person who works for a company. If we search the graph for the pattern P, we find three matches. A first match is shown on the top left, followed by a second match on the top right. Notice that these two patterns share the same users. Pattern matches can overlap. And finally, a third match for the pattern P on the bottom right hand side. A pattern matching query for pattern P would return all three of these subgraphs. Multidimensional entity and pattern matching works with the next data science capability, relational com commonality discovery and computation. Relational commonality discovery and computation finds and analyzes the relationships of patterns among the entities such as customers, doctors, merchants, and even resources such as network, computing, and storage devices. These relationship patterns are then applied with pattern matching capability across the entire data set to find new product recommendations for an e-commerce site, un uncover likely fraud and money laundering activities that appear similar to the confirmed cases, and identify network, computing, or storage devices that need attention in the near future. Let's consider a common question answered with the graph database by customers in multiple industries including financial services, pharmaceutical, healthcare, telecom, internet and government. Given the set of business entities, how are they related? Do they have customers or patients in common? And how is the relationship evolving over a period of time? TigerGraph is a native graph platform, which means merchants, customer accounts, payments are represented in a, as business entities with relationships among them included in the data model. It's quite easy to visually find the common customers between the two merchants in Graph Studio, TigerGraph's graphical user interface. But how do you find and export the common customers 
as part of a real-time GSQL query. How do you add up the spending among customers and how can we find customers who shop at one merchant but do not yet shop at another merchant? Relational commonality discovery and computation capability is used to answer all of these questions. Graph traversal is an, in a native parallel graph begins from both of the merchants, merchant one and merchant two in parallel, going from merchants to all the payments received by the merchants. For example, in hop 1a, we find payments 11, 12, 13, and 14 from merchant one. In hop 1b, we find payments 21, 22, 23, and 25 from merchant two. The second step involves finding customers who send each of the payments in the first step. Hop 2A finds customer 1, 2, 3, and 4, while Hop 2B finds customer 1, 2, 3, and 5. Steps 2A and 2B also identify the common customers, customers 1, 2, and 3, who are attached to both payments from both merchants. Please note that this will be a 4-hop query for a regular graph database without parallel execution of algorithms. Parallel computation can add up the payments for common customers from merchant one as well as merchant two for a period such as a week, month, or quarter, and time series analysis can be applied to understand how the strength of a relationship varies over time. Relational computation also identifies customers who shop at one of the merchants, yet however do not yet shop at the other merchant. This information is used for identifying cross-sell across the merchants with targeted mark promotions if the customers have opted in for receiving promotional offers. Let's do a quick recap. We have already covered this use case of uncovering a referral network in the healthcare and pharmaceutical industry, which leverages both of the deep link analysis as well as relational commonality discovery capabilities of a native parallel graph. Relational commonality discovery and computation are used by the healthcare and pharmaceutical industry to identify referral networks. Please review the Tiger Graph testimonial for Amgen, the biotech ph pharmaceutical giant, available on YouTube as well as the TigerGraph.com site. The next capability is hub and community detection. Let's consider the healthcare example from earlier, where we saw how referral networks among the doctors are built out by correlating claims. After establishing the referral relationships among influencers or trusted product or service providers, the next step involves identifying the most influential hubs driving the most activities such as healthcare claims for a specific condition, cardiac care, or diabetes management. With a graph, we can find which entities have the most connections extremely easily, more efficiently than with a tabular database. But we can also use a more sophisticated measure of importance, such as a well-known graph algorithm, PageRank. PageRank is compute intensive and only a native parallel graph can handle it at scale. Consider the example where Dr. Douglas Thomas, the general practitioner, is driving referrals for cardiac care and issues to three surgeons. Dr. Helen Sue, Dr. Rick Summers, Dr. Zane Adams and two cardiologists, Dr. Henry Chang and Dr. Neil Patel. PageRank creates a unique ranking for each physician. Dr. Douglas Thomas with a page rank of 3.9 is the most influential physician by driving referrals for cardiac care in the East San Jose area. Dr. Don Kirk with a page rank of 2.5 is the second most influential physician for the area. As a pharmaceutical company launches new or improved drug for cardiac care with high efficacy, they can target these hubs of influence, Dr. Douglas Thomas and Dr. Don Kirk for the East San Jose area, because the company knows that these influencers will share the research as well as details on how it will benefit their patient population within the referral network. A healthcare organization can work with Dr. Douglas Thomas and Dr. Don Kirk on updating guidelines for cardiac care, including new modalities and drugs with higher efficacy and better outcomes for the patient population. After detecting the hubs of influence with PageRank, we can use Community Detection, another graph algorithm. This involves identifying the community around each hub and evaluating the market opportunity to determine the relative importance of each community. TigerGraph's open source graph algorithm library includes several community detection algorithms to identify communities of strongly interconnected entities. Consider the example where there are three communities of connected prescribers and patients identified for East San Jose for treating cardiovascular disease and providing preventative care with medicines to manage hypertension. Tigergraph's high-performance SQL-like graph query language, GSQL, 
is used to aggregate the spend across all claims for the community that is related to the cardiovascular disease, along with insurance payouts as well as the out-of-pocket costs for patients. Total spending along with insurance payouts and out-of-pocket costs is calculated for the hypertension medication prescriptions. Armed with these insights, pharmaceutical companies producing the hypertension medication and the medical equipment manufacturers producing stents and other products for the cardiac surgery can prioritize visits to the most influential hubs in communities with the maximum spending on those products or services in the East San Jose healthcare market. This delivers the new innovations in medicine as well as healthcare instruments and procedures to the community that is likely to benefit most from it while delivering maximum revenue uplift for the producers of these products or services. Hub and community detection can be applied to multiple industries in addition to pharmaceutical and healthcare. In financial services, it can be used to identify the most influential merchants or customers and the communities driven by them and also find investment advisors who are driving the investments for a particular type of stock, mutual fund, or commodity. It is useful in government to understand the origin and spread of infectious diseases or identification of suspected terrorist networks linked to radicalized communities. Hub and community detection is immensely useful in cybersecurity, where it can identify multiple employees, machines, or IP addresses acting in collusion to compromise network or data or application security. Now let's take a look at one of our foundational capabilities. Understanding relationships and changes in relationships in terms of location. A property graph like Tiger Graph can easily include geographic information like latitude and longitude. And a native parallel graph can efficiently perform computations on this geographic information as needed. One geographic analysis technique is to create grid point entities and links. That is, we can create vertices which represent zip codes or latitude longitude grid points and then link other entities to these location vertices. Grid points are also linked to each other to travel to neighboring locations. Let's stick with the healthcare industry to understand how this capability is delivered by native parallel graph. Each patient is linked to a grid point based on its location. Likewise, each healthcare facility is linked to a grid point which belongs to a zip code, which in turn is associated with a city. Geospatial analysis begins with a simple query. Given a particular patient location based on latitude and longitude, how many healthcare facilities of each type, such as primary care clinics, adult day healthcare, acute psychiatric hospitals, and pediatric care facilities are at the same grid point? How many are in neighboring grid points? Next, the co graph computation can consider immediate as well as future healthcare needs for each patient. Consider the availability of specific services such as healthcare facilities, emergency or psychiatric care, or even a specific type of care, such as emergency cardiac surgery or organ transplant capabilities. Geospatial computation can further consider the current wait time for the acute services based on the workload and the driving distance to the facility to find the healthcare facility with the best chance of delivering the required healthcare services to the patient in need, maximizing their chance of survival and recovery. The next foundational capability is temporal or time series analysis. Let's look at another industry, internet or social media, which has been an early adopter of graph technology. The schema above is from the Social Network Benchmark by LDBC, Linked Data Benchmark Council, an initiative focused on benchmarking performance of graph databases. Date attributes are stored in four places. The schema shows a message either created and or liked by a person. Each message has a timestamp and each person has a birthday. A message can be a post such as a tweet or a comment in response to another post. Messages are associated with one or more tags, and which in turn is associated with a tag class. Tag classes are organized into a hierarchy of subclasses. A person belongs to a forum containing multiple posts and may be a regular member or a moderator administering the forum. The date that a forum is created and the date that a person joined the forum are also recorded. A person may be linked to a specific institution, such as a university or a company, which is located in a city, which is part of a country, which in turn is part of a continent. Consider a common query that requires time series or temporal analysis of graph data while analyzing social media data. The user is interested in finding all messages tagged with a specific tag in a given tag class. Next, the user wants to count all messages and their likes grouped by continent, year, and month, and to understand the distribution of this data over time. The GSQL language and the Tiger Graph platform include several features with help with temporal analysis. First, there are common functions which you may find in languages, 
such as extracting the year from a date. But unique to TigerGraph are accumulators, which are runtime variables specifically designed for aggregation with distributed parallel processing. For example, a query can analyze the messages in parallel to speed up computation, with a set of accumulators keeping a real-time tally of how many messages are liked in each month. In analysis, by this window is needed on a regular basis, we can even create a time-based index to speed up the searching and sorting. Incidentally, the query example here is a six-hop query, another example of deep link analytics. The output of temporal or time series for multiple queries is displayed on a GUI. The top left-hand side chart shows the most popular destinations by month for each geography, such as North America, with 66 posts in the month of June. The bottom left-hand chart shows posts of different types based on their length, such as long, short, or one-liner post, tweet, or whether a particular post is a comment. The account for each type of post is mapped out by month. The top right-hand side chart shows how messages and likes vary over time for each continent, such as Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, and Australia. Finally, the bottom right-hand side shows tags that fluctuate or change the most over time. Our seventh capability is extracting graph-based features for training the machine learning models. We have reviewed this example in the earlier module, where we covered generations of graph-based features to feed machine learning and improve accuracy for a specific use case, detecting phone-based fraud. A native parallel graph is used to generate machine learning features for multiple use cases in addition to fraud detection, such as money laundering, recommendation engines, and credit risk assessment and monitoring. One of the biggest obstacles to widespread AI adoption is the government as well as enterprises such as banks, insurance, and telecom companies, and the lack of transparency in how the AI system arrived at a particular decision. Explainable AI is needed. Consider a welfare claim that was rejected, as the AI solution computed a high probability of potential fraud based on the history of previous claims from the recipient. The welfare recipient deserves to know why his or her claim was rejected and the government organization needs to make sure that this wasn't due to a case of bias against a specific race, religion, gender, or culture. Graph-based features clearly show how the AI or machine learning solution arrived at a particular decision based on the combination of the computed feature values. TigerGraph also offers Graph Studio, a powerful GUI for visualizing, exploring, and analyzing relationships to show how this feature were computed. TigerGraph's native parallel graph architecture ensures that explainable AI can be rolled out to all the users within the enterprise as well as external parties with real-time visualization, exploration, and analytics of interconnected data. Finally, let's consider different types of data that feed a native parallel graph to power a wide variety of use cases. TigerGraph combines three types of data from a variety of internal and external sources. The first type of data is the master data, such as products, services, patients, and prescribers for healthcare, customers and merchants for financial services, and citizens and various welfare services for the government. Master data usually covers information such as name, address, email, and phone number, as well as details regarding subspecialty, specialty, equipment, etc. The second type of data is the operational or transactional data, which includes healthcare claims and payments, as well as the member's electronic health records which are updated throughout the member's journey to wellness. For financial services, this includes payments, wire transfers, and stock, mutual funds, or commodity purchases. For telecom companies, this covers phone calls as well as internet data usage records. For government, operational data covers welfare, benefit claims, payments, and other transactional data. Finally, the third type of data is the historical data. Petabytes of information stored in data warehouses, data marts, and massive Hadoop data lakes. All of this internal data must be combined with the data from partners such as hospitals, other healthcare providers, third-party data sources such as Open Corporates, Thomas Reuters, and Dun and Bradstreet, as well as public data sources such as FAERS and OpenFDA for healthcare, SEC, and other regulatory filings for financial services. A native parallel graph database such as TigerGraph is purpose-built to combine these three types of data in real time to deliver a wide variety of use cases to drive specific outcomes. One is to increase revenue with use cases such as product and service marketing with real-time customer 360 and recommendation engines. Another is to reduce costs and manage risks with use cases such as cybersecurity, fraud detection, risk assessment, and monitoring. 
Another is to improve operational efficiency with energy management systems, enterprise knowledge graphs, network IT and cloud resource optimization, as well as supply chain analysis. All these outcomes are powered by foundational capabilities, including AI and machine learning, geospatial and time series analysis. We have covered all seven data science capabilities in depth in Tiger Graph's webinar series, Graph Gurus. Here's a list of various episodes. You can register at tigergraph.com under the resources link and replay one or more of these episodes. Each episode comes with sample data, which is available on GitHub, a set of sample queries, and a walkthrough of Graph Studio workflow to use the capability to address a use case. To review, here are our seven key data science capabilities powered by a native parallel graph. Deep link analysis, multi-dimensional entity and pattern matching, relational commonality discovery and computation, hub and community detection, geospatial graph analysis, temporal or time series graph analysis, and machine learning feature generation and explainable AI. These are the questions that you should keep in mind before we take the quiz online. What is deep link analysis used for? Which of the following use cases are not covered by deep link analysis? Which of the following is not an example of relational commonality discovery and computation? Which of the following is not an example of multidimensional entity and pattern matching? What is hub and community detection used for? Which of the following is not a good example of geospatial analysis? Which of the following is not an example of temporal or time series analysis? And finally, which of the following is not a capability powered by a native parallel graph? Now that you have learned the four key modules of Tiger Graph Fundamentals, let's cover the key learning resources to continue your education of the graph database and analytics. As you start your journey to learn more and expand your understanding, consider the second Tiger Graph certification course, Tiger Graph 201 or Intermediate Certification. You can download Tiger Graph Developer Edition for free lifetime non-commercial use at tigergraph.com download. Get started with the Tiger Graph Developer Portal where you can download Developer Edition connect with a community of thousands of GSQL and Tiger Graph developers. And be sure to download the free ebook, Native Parallel Graphs at tigergraph.com ebook and continue your journey to becoming a graph guru.